Here at Late Night, we talk a lot about the news, but not everyone is an auditory learner. Some people retain information better when it's presented visually. So to make sure those viewers have caught everything that's happened so far this year, two of my writers, Jenny Hagel and Amber Ruffin, have created some visual aids, and they'd like to present them now in a segment called Late Night Dioramas. <laughs> Hey, everybody, say hi to Amber and Jenny. Hi, everybody. Hi, great. Oh, guys. Oh! I can't wait to see the dioramas you guys have made. We can't wait to show them to you. We worked very hard on them. OK, just to make it clear to everyone here, I have not seen these before. He absolutely has not. Great. So <laughs> I have not signed off on them no. or agreed to them. Great. Nope. So tell us, guys, what's happened so far this year? Oh, Seth, you're not going to believe <laughs> okay. it. Okay. It's only March, what? and already so much has happened. Now, let's start off with the State of the Union address. Why, it's the biggest news of the year. <laughs> okay. President Trump gave it last month, and a bunch of stuff happened during it. Now, I could tell you about it, or I could show you with this diorama. Oh, wow, look at that. Very beautiful. <laughs> it's stunning. Now, here's President Trump, and he's giving his speech, and he's like, I'm the best president who ever presidented. And then here are the Republicans, and they're like, four more years, four more years. And then over here is Brett Kavanaugh, and he's like, four more beers, four <laughs> more yeah, beers. Yeah, yeah. And then here's Melania, and she's giving the Medal of Freedom to Rush Limbaugh and to the Grinch <laughs> and to Skeletor. Oh, wow. And then Trump finally finishes his speech, and Nancy Pelosi <laughs> takes it, and then she does this with it. <laughs> wow, it's a tiny, a tiny shredder. She's so mad. And then the next day, Trump <laughs> tweeted about so much uh, about what a good job he did that his fingers fell off. <laughs> wow. That's really uh, something, guys. Thank you. What would you call that? This? Yeah. Oh, man, this is a diorama. <laughs> All right, okay. Very nice diorama, guys. Oh, hi, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Seth, here's another big story. Great, very exciting. Earlier this year, the Pope was greeting a crowd in Vatican City when one super excited woman grabbed him and wouldn't let go. So he slapped her. That's a real story. Wow. Is it hard to picture? It is hard to picture. Then take a look at this diorama. Oh, wow. That's right. Okay. okay, so here's the Pope, and he's like, hello, I don't have sex. And then here's a crowd, and they're like, you're a very good man. And then here's a bunch of gay people, and they're like, is he? <laughs> and then here's a bunch of women who want to take birth control, and they're like, but is he? <laughs> And then this lady is grabbing him, and she's like, I'm your biggest fan. And he's like, nope. <laughs> wow. So it was a lot of slaps. Yeah, there was a couple more. <laughs> okay. And then here's Jesus, and he's like, please don't tell people we're friends. OK. Wow. <laughs> That's really saying? great. Yeah. And what would you guys call this? I think I would call it, if I had to choose a word, yeah. a diorama. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Beautiful. Meanwhile, in sports news, okay. the Houston Astros were caught up in a huge cheating scandal recently uh -huh. when people found out that they've been stealing signs from opposing teams. I, I heard about this. And using elaborate methods to communicate those signs to their batters. Uh -huh. Now, let's see what that looked like with this diorama. Wow, look yeah. at this. All right. Wow is right. Now, Here's the Astros, and they're playing the Nationals. And the Nationals catcher flashes the signal to the pitcher, and then the Astros catch that signal on this video camera. Okay. And then that feed goes into this TV monitor, uh -huh. and then that causes this player to bang on a trash can. <laughs> and then that cues this player to release a carrier pigeon, and he has a message. And he flies up, he flies, the, kid, the, the carrier pigeon, he flies up, yeah, he flies on the, he flies. Oh, yeah, okay, great. Oh, wow. And then he drops a little note that says curveball. Wow. Now, here are 
baseball fans, and they're like, we have never seen anything this shady. And then here's Barry Bonds, and he's like, I have. <laughs> now, when I told our legal department that we were making a diorama about how the Astros cheated, they made me add this. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Fantastic, guys. Really, really well done. Thank you. Yeah. And that's a diorama. Wow. 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 All right. Next up. Okay. Brad Pitt and Jennifer Aniston ran into each other recently at the SAG Awards. Yeah. You guys know what I'm talking about. Right. And when Brad, yes, when Brad saw Jen, he grabbed her wrist and everyone freaked out and was like, oh my God, are they getting back together? Now, this is just a little story, so I explained it with this pocket oh, diorama. A pocket diorama. Yeah, so a little pocket diorama. Okay. So here's Brad Pitt. And here's Jen, uh -huh. and you can see they're on a red carpet. Uh -huh. And then Brad is like, hey, Jen, wait up. And there's this like tension between them, sure, right? Can sure, you feel sure. the yeah, tension? Yeah, yeah. I, well, I can see yeah, it. Yeah, you can yeah, see yeah. it. You can feel it. And then uh -huh. finally he grabs her wrist, and Ooh. sparks really fly. Wow. Yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah. And it's like hot, right? You can feel there's like some heat. Yeah, no, them. I can still feel can the you heat. Feel yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Can you feel it? I can. You know how hot it is between them? How? Oh. <laughs> I waited till your hand moved. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you very much, Jenny. And now, what would you call that? Uh, two things. I would call it a fire hazard. Uh huh. And I would call it a diorama. A diorama. <laughs> wow, that's great. Bye. Bye, guys. And finally, let's be honest, Seth. The biggest story of the year so far was when Prince Harry and Meghan Markle announced that they're stepping back from their roles in the royal family and moving to Canada. Right. Now, you can learn all about this in this diorama. Oh, my God. Look at this. All right. Yeah, yeah, dang right. Look at it. Okay, so here's Prince Harry and here's Meghan Markle. Uh -huh. And they're like, we are out of here. <laughs> now, over here is Kate Middleton, and she's like, please take me with you. <laughs> okay. And then over here is the British press, and they're like, who are we going to write racist stuff about now? <laughs> oh, okay. And then over here is a bunch of corgis, and they're like, don't you think these people are a little too into us? <laughs> okay. Now, Harry and Meghan didn't give Queen Elizabeth a heads up that they were going to make this big announcement. So here's what she looked like when she heard it. <laughs> her, her face got rough. <laughs> She got she cartoon got angry. Cartoon angry. Yeah. And here's what it will look like when they leave. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, they landed. They landed in camp. Oh, there she is. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Well done, you guys. Thank you. I really feel like I learned a lot. And what would you say was the name of the tool that provided me with all this knowledge? A diorama. A diorama. And... I do want to make one thing clear. The two of you uh, made all of these dioramas by hand, right? Seth, we absolutely did not. The art department did. Please give them a huge hand. All right, give it up for Late Night Dioramas. Give it up for Amber.